I just talked to you for like probably five minutes in realizing that I wasn't recording like a doofus. Happy Thursday, even though when this whole Christmas and New Year's in the middle of the week, it screws you up, man. But uh, waiting for dad to get home. It's almost three o'clock. He's been gone almost all day. He had to, well, he had a job for the car dealership in town. He had to run him to a place in Indiana. And then he had to go get his sister because she's moving her bank up to where she lives. Because every time she had to do any banking, Dad would have to drive 20 minutes, 20 miles to her place, 20 miles back to Niles, 20 miles back to her place, and 20 miles home. That's 80 miles of driving to take somebody to the bank. Dad's like, you've got to get your bank up where you live now. So that took place today. She was closing out her account in Niles, then opening an account up in the town where she lives in now, because there isn't a branch of her old bank credit union um, up there, so she had to choose a whole different bank. Uh, so that's, dad took her to do that. And, uh, I just called him thinking he'd have been home way before now. And I said, where are you at? He goes, I just dropped her off. I'm like, you're still in Dwajak? He goes, yeah. I said, okay, when you get home, I want to leave. Cause I want to go to Meyer to get, I want to go, I need one more of these. And then three more of the tiny, the littlest ones. And, um, I cleaned out this other drawer on top. Um, so these two drawers will have all the stuff and I want to get some of that contact paper to put in the, the four drawers on the side and perhaps the two bottom cabinets I don't know yet we're gonna look at we're gonna look at that stuff but that's the only area I want to go to I want to get in look at organizing stuff get out I don't want to look around I say that now when I get there you know what happens you look around uh so yeah, I was supposed to have a movie date. It did not happen. About 3.30, I got a, a Facebook message. Um, I noticed it when I did the middle of the night tinkle thing. Um, she's like, I don't know if the movie's gonna happen tomorrow. I have the chills and I feel like stuff's gonna come out both ends and I'm like, oh, I know that feeling. I know the reality. <laughs> and about 9.30, she said it's not gonna happen today. I said, okie doke. Cause I know what it's like not wanting to go anywhere when you're not feeling good. They'll be playing Star Wars for a while yet. I will get there at some point. Dang it. Uh -uh -uh. My cousin's out. He's up roofing. My cousin Bart putting shingles on. I just heard the generator thing. Air compressor. That's the word. Pop on. And they're putting a metal roof on the house next door. So I'm curious when I pull out, is he parked behind me? I'm gonna might have to have, will I have room to get around him? I'll have to see. I'll have to see how that works. He is parked right behind me with a big plow truck. Although I might be able to pull forward and go up and around. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know why he didn't pull in the driveway because the driveway's empty and dad wasn't even, he was parked on the other side of my van who knows? But it's like 48 out. I don't have to wear a coat. I'm just wearing my thermal my thermal thing. And uh, I don't know if go I, probably golfers were out today. I'm not sure. It might be too soft on the course after the snow because the snow's melting very quickly, and it's dripping off our house very quickly. Once all. This gets done in the spring. We'll have a new, brand new gutter put on the front of the house. So many things to do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Maybe I'll turn you on when I'm in Meyer. We'll see. I didn't get you out when I was at Meyer because I went in, got what I wanted, and came out. I actually got more than. This is a thing to go under the sink. One of these little tote things. Got a paper towel thing to go underneath. It'll go up there, under under the cabinet. We used to have one there. I got, we got one of these, because our other one we lost, we packed stuff up with some extra. I got, I was unwrapping some, some of these. My other one of these. I got some of these. To see any little ones that'll fit in there. And we got a new one of these, because our other one is grody. So now I'm getting, getting all this stuff taken care of. I wanna play with them. We're babysitting. Come here, Beamer. 
Your daddy just went to the store for a minute. He's got a big sore on his no, thing again. Here, come here. <gasps> Treat? Beamer, look. Beamer, he wants his daddy. He's get here. Beamer. See his sore right there? He had one there before that came off and now it's broke open again. He's on antibiotical cream. Come here. Beamer. Beamer. He wants his dad. I had a I had his attention over here and I said, sneak out, Bill. Hey big guy. Hey. 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 Hi, look at this. <gasps> Is that your favorite? Is that your favorite? Is that your favorite? Huh? Do I got another one? Do I got another one for you? <gasps> I do have another one for you. He's getting to be an old man. His dad's got to get your nails trimmed. Yeah, your back nails are horrendous. Horrendous. That's the first thing I told his daddy when he came in. Like, go get his nails done. Come here. I got one more. There you go. There you go, old guy. He won't be long. He won't be gone long. Oh, he's mad. He wants his dad to come back. Okay, bye. Okay, Beamer's happy his daddy came and got him. Oh, I must have dribbled. I got a, a grape slush earlier. At happy hour. Dollar sixty one. I haven't had a grape slush in years. And part of it's on my shirt now. Um, I talked to my cousin Carmen today. She's the mom of Kendra. They got the call. Her surgery is February 3rd. And, the, and, and uh, Carmen said, the doctor told her, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a painful surgery. So... Because, you know, they cut you down here and cut a chunk out. There's something else they want to remove. Something called a tonsil or something. But not this tonsil. Something in the brain. So, but they have a set. Ready to get done. So, I'm, I'll probably talk about it when it's coming. So, y'all can send her good vibes. And Carmen's mom, my Aunt Shelly, she's been having problems. She's been in and out of the hospital for the last... Six, eight months, a lot. I mean, she got really pale that one time. She was losing blood, and they didn't, couldn't figure out why she was losing blood. And she just had a really bad turn right before Christmas or New Year's. Excuse me. And uh, she got home today from the hospital. And she's trying to get her into either Mayo Clinic or Cleveland Clinic. She's got feelers in both of them. They're just waiting for calls from one or the other. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. I know it's hard to get into both of those places. Uh, she had talked to Cleveland Clinic back in August and they were going through a whole, they were redoing their whole system, their computer system, something, and it was all just jumbled up mess there. And, uh, so she just talked to him again recently and the lady told him, not going to lie, it's probably going to be a couple months before we get back to you. It's so sad when people are just trying to figure out what's wrong with them, to get themselves better. And so many people die waiting. So aggravating. I am glad Kendra's getting hers taken care of. Um, I know it'll be hard on Liam because, you know, after surgery, he can't jump and crawl on her and be on her because she has to be really still and lay it's like so many days after surgery it's 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 gonna be something let's just say so yeah that was the news we got this evening and now my and then we got another call from Carmen's house but it wasn't Carmen it was my cousin Mallory who's you know she's a teenager and my aunt Jenny had been calling up there saying that you need to come get me I'm dying of carbon monoxide poisoning which freaked Mallory out and Mallory called here to talk to Dad, and Dad's like, "It's she's playing a game with you. Don't freak out. She's not dying of carbon monoxide poisoning. You don't even know when that's happening. You know, it's just a, it's a crazy situation with her here lately. Yes. So, 
she just called here and dad's like i'm gonna see if she talks about carbon monoxide <laughs> and i hear him go well if it happens you'll just be dead in the morning you'll just fall asleep and not know about it <laughs> i'm like good god she just makes so many scenarios up in her head um that oh it's just uh it's a situation a uh, situation but okay now I'm gonna roll out put all these together drink my slushy which is like still got like this much left might have to get a spoon because sometimes I like to get a spoon and just eat the ice chips my mom used to do that too but all right have a good Thursday I'll see you later bye